So recently, um, I thought I'd like just like to highlight the fact that um, if you look at the PBC, right now I believe PBC is the one promotion in boxing that's actually completely dominating the boxing landscape. The reason why I say that is if you look at just this year alone, and this year isn't even over, there's five, five um, months left of this year until it's over. Um, Al Heyman, or the PBC brand, has managed to put on Benavidez vs. Plant, which was a top fight, Javonta Davis versus Ryan Garcia, Spence versus Crawford, and they're about to do Canelo versus J J um, Jamal Charlo. And the crazy thing is, um, at the end of the year, if everything goes to plan, there could be a chance that um, Anthony Joshua fights um, Deontay Wilder. So literally, in the space of this year, like in six months, they've managed to put all these great fights on. And another thing that they've done that's been incredible is the fact that um, they've managed to uh, sign Canelo onto a large fight deal. So the fact is, they managed to make two major signings this year. They managed to sign Crawford, which obviously made the Spence vs. Crawford fight happen. And they managed to fight um, sign Canelo, and who is literally the, one of the biggest draws in boxing, or the biggest draw in boxing. And they've managed to sign him onto a 2 free fight deal. So it looks like things are on the up and up for Al Heyman and PBC. I think the brand is doing really well. I mean, in, to some extent, they are reviving back um, boxing. Because if you think about it, for the longest time, a lot of these fighters would not be taking um, would not be taking big fights. And there's another fight that I forgot to mention. Um, Inui fought Fulton. I believe Fulton is a PBC fighter as well. So that's another great fight that happened because of PBC. So in terms of fan interest, um, they're really doing the job. I mean, they're really getting the fights that the fans that, that want to. They're really doing the do the fans a good service in t terms of giving us the fights that we want to see but not only that from a financial perspective it seems like they're doing great because they've got canelo canelo obviously gets a lot of views he's got a huge following in mexico and they've got him for free fights they've got um crawford crawford obviously he had a massive pay-per-view with spence which probably got loads of views javante davis versus ryan garcia that was a, that apparently got a lot of views um they done loads of pay-per-view buys with that fight um apparently it was one of the most viewed pay-per-views of the year so in terms of boxing right now I, th I think it's undeniable that um the pbc brand and al Heyman at this point in time are completely dominating i mean they're completely dominating the landscape of of american boxing but boxing as a whole generally i mean think about it in in five months, six months, they've managed to put on Benavides versus Plant, Javante Davis versus Ryan Garcia, Spence versus Crawford, Canelo versus Jamel Charlo, and they also managed to put in um, they also managed to put in like the Stephen Fulton versus Inui fight. But not only that, they might actually get Crawford to fight one of the Charlo brothers, or they might get him to fight um, Canelo in the future. Or they might get him to fight um, Javante Davis. So literally, this is PBC's year. I think they're on fire right now. They're absolutely killing it. And uh, to some extent, this is exactly what Al Heyman needed. Because um, his investment firm, I think he's called Wyland and Heed or something like that. Wyland and Reed, sorry. Um, his investment firm invested so much money into the PBC brand. And what he wanted to do was literally revolutionize boxing in America by putting so much boxing on for free. But it, it literally didn't happen. But I feel like um, at this point in time, what they're doing now is, um, is revolutionizing boxing to some extent. Because us, the fans, are getting the fights we want to see. But not only that, like um, from a financial perspective, it seems like Al Heyman is winning because he's got Canelo on a multi-fight deal. So that's going to clear most of the debts that he's in. I mean, it's, it's long knowing that um, the investment firm invested a lot of money and they're trying to recoup, recoup their costs. They lost on in terms of these shows that didn't generate that much interest. But now that they've got obviously Spence versus Crawford, Canelo versus Jamal Charlo, they're generating the money and the interest that they need and the ticket sales they need to clear their debts. So from a financial perspective, um, today has been a t this year has been a great year for Al Heyman and the PBC brand, and I'm I'm hoping the trend continues because, um, obviously me as a boxing fan, I want to see great fights. So um, I hope this continues. Uh, tell me what you think below. Um, I, I think um Al Heyman is literally out competing everyone. No, don't get it twisted. He's still got competition from Bob Arum. Bob Arum has put on some good cards. A good shows this year for example josh taylor versus 
Um, Josh Taylor versus uh, Tiafima Lopez was a great fight and a great card just for that one great fight. But I think overall, I, I think it's undeniable that Al Heyman is ahead of the pack in terms of putting on the best shows. And um, it seems like financially he's clearing up as well because he's, um, he, he, he's probably going to make a, a lot of money from the pay-per-view for the Canelo fight. And if Canelo fights one, one or two more times this year, um, after he beats Char Jamal Charlie, let's assume he does beat him, then um, they could be looking at huge fights. Um, they could be looking at huge, huge profits in the future. Obviously, there's super fights, other super fights in the future that could happen. For example, um, Canelo versus Crawford. So j just looking at it right now, um, at this point in time, PBC is clearly winning. Um, obviously, right now, Eddie Hearn is in a professional crisis and I'm going to make a separate video talking about that. But literally, most a lot of his fights have been um, like testing dirty for steroids. So literally, his, his entire professional career is in jeopardy right now in terms of everything that's going on with him. And he, he doesn't seem to be having as much success in terms of pay-per-views as um, Al Heyman's been having. So from that perspective, I think it's... Uh, um, I think it's incredible what Al Heyman's doing. I mean, he's managed to turn it all around. There was a time when I thought um, PBC was going to go down the drain because it seems like their debts were just so huge and astronomical. But um, it, thankfully, that's not the case. So tell me what you think below. Do you think Al Heyman's doing the best job in boxing right now? Do you think he's winning this year? I think it's great that he is winning. And I think he's proving that he's not a one-trick pony. Like back in the day... Um, he had Floyd Mayweather, and Floyd Mayweather was the biggest draw in boxing. And obviously, Floyd Mayweather had huge fights with Canelo, huge fights with Manny Pacquiao, huge fights with Conor McGregor. But after Mayweather retired, it seemed like Al Heyman's PBC brand was not as strong without Mayweather. But now it seems like um, he's emerged from that. Don't get it twisted. It took him a few years to emerge from that um, that vacuum that Mayweather left behind after he retired. And obviously, the f stars of yesteryear left behind, for example, Pacquiao. But um, now it seems like new stars have come into the fray, like Crawford, obviously uh, Javante Davis. Obviously, Canelo was already a star at that point, but he's become even bigger. Obviously, you've got other fighters like Benavidez. So it seems like Al Heyman's on the cusp of um, taking over boxing if he continues the, on the current trend that he's on. If he continues like this for the next three to five years, and he keeps putting on shows like this and he keeps doing what he's doing, I mean, I think I think the other promoters will find it harder to compete. Eddie Hearn at this point is in a professional crisis. Bob Arum is getting elderly and he's in his 90s, so he can't go on forever. So I think uh, um, as long as um, Al Heyman keeps putting on great shows and gives us us fight fans what we want to see, then um, I hope he continues to dominate the way he's been doing. So tell me what you think below. Do you agree with everything I'm saying or do you think... Um, I'm not speaking any sense. I think um, Al Heyman's had probably one of the best years of his professional career um, after the post-Mayweather era. Obviously, when Mayweather was doing astronomical numbers, fighting Pacquiao, fighting Canelo, um, obviously Oscar De La Hoya, they were great years for Al Heyman and the, and the PBC brand to some extent. But after Mayweather retired, he went into a bit of a... I think it was a not a downward spiral. He was still putting on good shows, but he didn't do that in them huge numbers again. But now um, I feel like he's slowly turning it around and he's starting to do big numbers and big fights and great cards again. And obviously he's got other few stars of the future underneath his uh, banner. For example, Jerome Ennis and other great fighters. So with that being said, this is, I think it's been a great year so far for Al Heyman. Tell me what you think below and uh, like and subscribe to the channel. I've got a lot more content coming your way. Peace.